first of all thanks for being part of my video in today's class we are going to see percentages class 2 yesterday we have learned some basic concepts of percentages today we are going to see the percentages concept through questions let's see the question one what percentage is equal to equivalent to three fourth if we see a fraction we need to find the percentage then fraction to percentage conversion requires for fraction we need to multiply with 100 4 25 times 3 25 times will be 75 so our answer is 75 percentage let's do one more here what percentage is equivalent to 5 by 8 so asking about 5 by 8 is what percentage equivalent so for percentage we multiply with the 100 for fractions we multiply with 100 8 4 2 times and 4 25 times so we get 125 by 2 125 divided by 2 which is nothing but 62.5 percentage 62.5 percentage is nothing but 5 by 8 fraction value okay next third question what fraction is 12 half percentage 12 one half is nothing but 12.5 percentage yesterday we already learned the percentages to fractions table 12.5 fraction is nothing but 1 by 8 the value of 12.5 percentage is 1 by 8 fraction value how to find in basic method this is 12 2 times 24 and 25 by 2 if we see a percentage what we do is divided by 100 so we get 25 4 times so we get 1 by 8 as our answer so this is basic method let's see one more question what is 15 percent fraction value To find a fraction value, we need to do 15 percentage means divided by 100. 5, 3 times 5, 20 times. So, fraction value will be 3 by 20. Now, we are going to see question number 5. Find 8% of 625. So, for this, we will do 8 percentage means divided by 100 into 625 this will be 25 25 times 25 4 times 4 2 times so we get a 50 percent this is basic traditional method for mind calculations we'll do 10 percent value of 625 is 62.5 but we need 8 percent value so we'll see 1 percentage value is 6.25 so 8% value is into 8 times for this one 8 uh, 25 25 8 times will be 200 so 2 comes here 6 8 times will be 48 48 plus 2 will be 50 so answer is 50 not a percentage 8 6 times is 48 48 plus 2 will be 50 this is mind calculations and this is basic traditional method uh, it is your convenient which method is easy for you now question number six find a 12 percent of 6800 12 divided by 100 into 6800 double zero cancels 12 six times 12 eight times is 96 12 six times is 72 and 9 will get 81 816 is answer for this one
okay now we are going to see question number seven sixty percent of what number is thirty this is sixty divided by hundred of means into what number means x is means equals to thirty okay this is the terminology i use for basic method so 30 2 times 2 50 times so answer will be x equals to 50 so 50 is our answer so according to our question it is said that 60 percent of 50 60 percent of 50 is 30 what i mean is 50 and 60 percent is for percentage we cancel two zeros five six times is 30 it is what it say okay next we are going to see question number eight before going to question number eight we will see how to do this in mind calculations 60 percent value is 30 then it is asked about what number 100 percent is nothing but the total 60 percent value is 30 then this is our number 250 times so our number is 50 this is mind calculation let's take uh, one more example uh, if we have 16 2 by 3 percentage of what number is 75 if you don't understand the question you go with the direct terminology 16 2 by 3 percentage is nothing but 16.66 percentage yesterday in our yesterday's table 16.66 percentage is nothing but 1 by 6 1 by 6 value is 75 or else we go with the terminology basic method 1 by 6 of what number x is 75 x equals to 75 into 6 how i divide, how i multiply is 75 2 times into 3 this will be 150 into 3 450 for mind calculations 16.66 percentage is nothing but 1 by 6th 1 by 6th value is 75 so what it means is one part value is 75 then six parts value is what 75 six times will be our answer 75 into 6 which is nothing but 450 this is our answer we will do mind calculations of this one okay next ninth question this is ninth question saying that 12.5 percent of your number is 20 what is 60 percent of that number uh, we'll go with the terminology 12.5 percent is nothing but 12.5 percentage 12.5 percentage is nothing but 1 by 8 according to the yesterday's table okay of your number of means into number means x okay is 20 so our x value is 820 times will be 160 x value is 160 total is 160 what is 60 percent of that number 60 percent of this number is nothing but 60 divided by 100 into 160 double zero double zero cancel 16 six times is 96 this is basic traditional method mind calculation method is 12, 12 1 by half percentage means 1 eighth 1 eighth value is 20 so one part value is 20 means 8 parts value is 160 so total is 160 we need to find 60 percent of this one 10 percentage value is 16 okay then 60 percent value is 16 into 6 which will be 96 this is mind calculation this is question number 10 uh, first uh, 16 two third percent of your number is 50 so first we need to find the number according to the basic uh, method 
sixteen twenty two by three percent is nothing but one by six according to yesterday's table. One by six of number means x equals to fifty. So x value is six into fifty three hundred. Okay. Now we need to find twenty six two third percentage. I don't know exact fraction of this one, but I can divide twenty six two third percentage as 10 percentage and 16 point 16 two third percentage 10 percent is of x is nothing but 30 plus 16 two third percentage is nothing but one sixth of 300 which will be 50 so our answer will be 30 plus 50 80 80 is our answer okay according to mind calculations we see 16 two third percentage means 1 by 6 value is 50 so total value will be 650 times will be 300 is the total value uh, i can calculate this as 10 percentage plus 1 six value 10 percentage value is 30 and 1 six value is 50 so answer will be 80 this is first method first mind calculation method Question number 11. If the price of 1 kg of rice is increased by 25 percent, okay, 25 percent is the increase in the increase is 12 rupees. Find the new price of the rice per kg. It is said that the price of the rice initially is increased by 25 percent. 25 fraction value is 1 fourth. I said that it is talking about increased means increased means 5 fifth. So initially 4 rupees, 4 parts. Initially 4 parts. Now it becomes 5 parts. And it is says that the increase is 12 rupees. The difference between these two is 12. So the difference between these two is 1 part. 1 part value is 12 then what we need to find find the new price of the rice this is old price and this is new price 5 12 times is 60 our answer is 60 rupees okay if it is asked about old price then 4 into 12 which is 48 is old price see the increase is 12 here the increase is 12 okay this is how we calculate mind calculations let's see one more example Question number 12. If the price of the pen is increased by percentage, uh, first we need to write the fraction of this one. Percentage is nothing but 72 times 14 and 15 divided by 2. Percentage means divided by 100. 5 3 times 5 20 times. So the fraction value is 4 by 3 by 40. And it is said that this is increased so it is increased so you add 3 to 40 43 by 40 the increase is 15 so the difference between these two is three parts three parts value is 15 so what we need to find find the original price of the pen 40 parts value we need to find the 40 parts value three parts value is 5 so one part value is 5 three parts value is 15 so one part value is 5 now what we need to find is 40 parts value 40 into 5 which will be 200 200 is our answer so answer is option b next question number 13 if the price of a pencil is decreased by 16 two third percentage first we will do 16 two third percentage fraction value which is nothing but one sixth and it is said that decreased decreased means we will subtract so 5 divided by 6 5 divided by 6 is the fraction the decrease is 3 it is talking about the difference between these two is 3 one part value is 3 now what we need to find find the new price of the pencil this is old price and this is new price 
always the denominator value is old price the numerator value is new price so we need to find a five parts value five parts value is five three times 15 rupees so answer will be so answer is option e rupees 15 question number 14 the daily wage is increased by 20 percentage so 20 percentage fraction value is one fifth and saying about increased by so increased means six fifth initially it is five parts now it becomes six parts a person now gets rupees 24 now means present he gets 24 and what was his daily wage before increase first before increase means he uh, he gets a five parts value six parts value is 24 means one part value will be six four times five four times will be the answer answer will be 20 rupees 20 per day now we are going to see the last question for this session in a college of 60 percent of students are boys in a college 60% of students are boys if there are 320 girls in the college find the number of boys in the college okay 320 are girls 320 are girls 60% are boys 60% boys means 40% are girls this is, these are boys and these are girls so 320 is nothing but 40 percent 40 percent value is 320 now what we need to find find the number of boys in the college boys are 60 percentage so we need to find 60 percentage value we'll divide all okay 40 8 times will be 320 6 8 times will be 480 so total number of boys is 480 option b is our answer by this we have completed 15 questions in percentages topic in this class so we are going to see further more questions in the next upcoming classes about the percentages topic i am giving these questions in a manner of basics to advanced level so you must continue these classes daily so you need to watch the next upcoming classes also to get full knowledge about this topic percentages so thanks for watching if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching